I figured I should do like an update. I am two weeks post surgery. For those of you who don't know, over the past couple years actually, I always have had my, my back pain. I have deterioration on my L5 and L4 already and I um, deal with the pain from that. But I also I was experiencing pain during um, penetration and I was experiencing pain inside. I was experiencing really, really deep pain in here and in here and in my gut. And then the pain just kept getting worse and worse and worse to the point where I was going in and out of the ER all of January until um, April, March for uh, kidney pains that they were saying was just bladder infections, which weren't. Uh, a urinologist confirmed that when they had said there was a bladder infection, he checked with an actual catheter. So instead of, you know, the pee test, it was checking with a catheter. And so I did not have a bladder infection. So the urologist finally got to go in and do surgery and he removed a bunch of endometriosis and scar tissue, uh, like a ton of scar tissue. There was scar tissue in my kidney tubes from the endometriosis. Uh, I'm not sure if it had gotten to my kidneys yet, but I will be asking the doctor all the actual questions when I see him for my checkup this week. I ate, it was everywhere. The endometriosis was everywhere. He put a stint in my kidney. Hopefully that means everything's good. I was reading about uh, endometriosis in your urethra and all that, and it does sound like a lot of people actually end up losing their kidneys. So I should be really thankful because my, I, I, my kidneys are okay. He added a stint, so my kidneys are fine. But I do have four little incisions. I've been taking it really slow. There's definitely been a lot of pain that I'm just like unfamiliar with, but I'm just really excited because I know I'm going to be able to go back to like doing a bunch of activities that I really wasn't able to do because the pain was just basically making me have to lay down in bed. I was laying down in bed every day every day for majority of the day. The stuff you guys saw online and, and the things you saw was the only times I was outside of the bed. So now I'm at least able to like, hopefully I won't be in bed like that once I'm all healed up and I'm really excited for that. And I'm also, you know, I'll be able to like actually make content without hurting again. Cause there was a lot of situations where it was like, if it wasn't the vibe, like like the actual vibrator, then it was probably gonna hurt me. So I'm super excited. They got all the endometriosis out of me. I do believe it's something that's gonna keep coming back. So I do have to figure out what to do about that. Um, so I've had these issues like my whole life. I had a friend over the other night and even she was like, I remember like not even a couple weeks after graduation, we like had to take you to like for something for a bladder infection. So it's like, I've always had these bladder infections but they weren't actually bladder infections. It was something going on between, um, it was something with the urethra tube. It was full of endometriosis. Hi, Kiki. I ended up going on a birth control that gave me um, really less frequent periods. And I was on that for years, so many years. And in 2020, I decided that I had been on birth control for over 10 years. And I was like, I really just want to get this out of my system. So I stopped taking birth control. And then that was, that was when the endometriosis started just like spreading and ravishing through my body. It was already outside of my uterus. So it was just going even crazier. And I like, went to a public floor therapist. I, I asked to see a gynecologist. I was telling my pain management it's in this area. I was drawing the pelvic floor muscles. I was trying so hard for like, I knew the area where this new pain was and nobody was like, knew how to even like address that area. So I'm really lucky. Uh, the surgeon who did my surgery is like an amazing surgeon. He was a kidney specialist before this and then he was a gynecologist or something and now he does um the urethra stuff and that stuff and he's really really amazing with pelvic floor reconstruction and pelvic floor stuff so i'm so thankful that i ended up seeing this surgeon i ended up seeing because it all went really well uh and my plan is so really leaning hard into art and making things so i've been working on lots of crafts and editing this is new new fancy camera i'm recording on so i'm just trying to get everything up to like a really nice professional grade i did make myself like a little photo box to do really nice pictures of the cosplay set 
some things and then I have a little content area to be making content in all of uh, the cosplays that I'm working on so basically I'm just gonna be focused on the ghoul cult sites uh, which is you know OF and, and Fansly and those two will be getting a lot of attention a lot of a lot of videos I'll also be doing um, painting in my underwear streams on there Twitch I'll do two times a week and Twitch we're gonna really lean really hard into with all the fun stuff and all the things because I really miss playing games with you all and and all that, those kinds of stuff um, and I guess let me show up the decisions right so they had wrapped me so I went camping okay because I was like you know what this derma stuff is on me and I really just I felt doom treats me like a princess when I camp and my uh, one of my best friends um, Petal Bear was with us as well along with a couple other friends and I was like you know what we have this wagon if it comes down to it I can just be pulled around in the wagon all day um, and I was okay hiking around I didn't carry any bags really or anything um, but I had the derma team around and then I have this other wrap and the wrap is okay from the hospital but like I can't wash it outside of cold water so I'm not a big fan uh, it feels gross which is actually why there's little band-aids but I do have to go wash these and shower um, today. So I might as well show you what they look like so far. So this one looks pretty good actually. Um, if you guys remember, I had a crazy muscle that was like bulging out so angry right here. It hurt so bad. So that's all taken care of now. That's gone it looks like. Um, this one, ooh yeah, this one is healing up okay. That one looks a little mad. Take all these off and then this, there's one on my belly button. That one's healing really, really good. Uh, and then that one. So, they're not too bad. I definitely, um, that one does not look okay, but I see him really soon. Um, that's probably my fault for going out camping and hiking around. I didn't hike that much, but I did, I did walk a lot, so. I walked a lot. I love your faces. Get ready for so much more content and a bunch of exercising content too, by the way. I'm going to do a lot of ring fit and a lot of, uh, of my physical therapy, which is mostly Pilates. So it's like Pilates YouTube videos. So yeah. Yay, see you all soon.